Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Stationers. Now we're back on Mars. We are post phase change. Now, um, some people have been having trouble with phase change and uh, thinking it's made life a bit hard. But uh, uh, let's just get started on Mars. Show how to set up in ways that um, see a few ways that our phase change has actually made our life a bit easier on Mars. Now, this how we get started will be sort of specific to Mars because we're well on Mars uh, duh um, uh, but we shall run through the, the traps here and find out uh, the, you know, not not necessarily the only way but a way to uh, get things set up and uh, get everything moving now we'll just uh, grab in the bits and pieces that we do want uh, get rid of the crap that we don't want here at the moment uh, walls will be handy they'll be handy one more pocket. Um, I can probably grab doors. Why not? Now, uh, as always, on Mars, we the sun goes pretty much up overhead. We're going to start by popping down a base. Uh, well, at least to get a position for it. Where are we? Oh, that's not a bad height. That's an annoying hole to have there. Uh, but we are... Uh, so, the sun is rising. That'll be the east. Uh, that'll be the west. The other side, obviously. Uh, let's just build over the top of that hole, shall we? We can set up a starter base. Um, uh, east, west. Uh, the sun goes. Sun goes slightly to the to the uh, the, the, the south. Um, so we'll face our greenhouse to the south. Oh, uh, on. That on Mars doesn't really matter because the, the sun goes pretty much straight overhead. But um, for the sake of the usual reasons, uh, we shall just uh, put our base and maximise that extra uh, one or two percent that we can get from from having that. Um, now we go three by three. Yeah, that'll probably do. That'd be more than what we need. Let's put up a few more of them. Um, I've got seven left. Might as well use them. Uh, yep, that'll do us. Uh, we want some doors. We'll put in our manual doors. They're easy ones to use. Yep, come on. Get in there. Right, and we're good. Then we can start welding. Uh, where to put my welder? There it is. Right. Uh, now we should pop up our solar panel. I shall put it right on top there. And we should put our battery charges. Well, not charges, there are APCs. Put one out here and I shall put a uh, one in the airlock. That'll do us. Uh, so we got them up. Uh, I just need to cable them up now. Uh, so if we put in... Well, that's that done. We should want to put down an auto lathe. And I should put down an arc furnace uh, probably there. For now we shall get rid of that furnace as quick as we can. Uh, there we go. Got our... Um, Got our water laid up, uh, and we shall just uh, put some walls up on here. I'll put windows up. It is supposed to be a greenhouse after all. So, as I say, the first thing that's going to kill us is power. We got that taken care of. The next thing that's going to kill us is uh, probably finding somewhere safe to actually take a drink and uh, refill. Um, oh, while well, I'm here, I could probably almost. Uh, uh, no, I've only got six left. I cannot make this. I probably could have done that though, couldn't I? Well, I can't now because I've run out. Um, not a problem. Uh, right, they're all good. Uh, probably go do some mining right about now. Okay, as the sun starts to set, it might be just about time to head back while well, I can still see my base. Uh, I could have used my tracker, but um, I, yeah, I didn't. If I do have to go mining at night, that might be the way to do it. Ah, uh, but we'll see if I've got enough. 
Um. Right. Save our jetpack. Now I've got some oxide and some volatiles. So hopefully I can mine or well, refine a lot of them just by using the arc furnace. Uh, the um, not arc furnace. Uh, how are you doing? Oh, still fully charged. Nice. Um, you can go into there and uh, not do much for me. In the meantime, I might unpack my spaceship. Oh, we're done. Power low. Oh, so much for me for battery. Uh, so I'll take you and you, put you on, and we shall make a, a furnace. Nice. Uh, that's half of me copper and most of me iron. Off we go. And there is my furnace. Now, I can set that one up. I shall need some more iron sheets. Uh, it doesn't really matter where we put it. I should put it there. Uh, now some more iron sheets. And we shall get to building that. Nice. Oop. I just need to put those windows in and I now have a sealed room there. Right. Now I need... Uh, what are you doing? How are we doing? we still got a yellow light on there. Uh, I still have battery left. We're good. Now, I want to grab... Um, that one. Uh, yeah, check that all in. Just gotta click the button to melt the ice. It'll get there eventually. There we go, it's done. Uh, chuck in eight of them, that'll be enough. Give it a click and that should let it fire. There we go. Uh, so now, that should be definitely hot enough to do that. And that, and that, and let's just take the iron as it is. A uh, pipe bender. Hydration critical. That'll take a while. Um, you're not going to explode. You're fine. Here we go. We're all packed up. We can seal this up now. And uh, oink. Now, time to have a drink. Uh, you're almost done. Well, I can put you down and get started on the electronics printer. Nice. You. Cables. You. You. We have a plumometron. Get rid of them. Now, if I'm not connected to... Yep, we're safe. Not changing the logic, I think we're safe. Uh, you, if I grab a, a vent... Uh, should be good to go inside. Right. Switch you off. You're still 70. Yeah, we're good. Right. One of them with me pipes. Where did I put my pipes? In the cupboard. What a stupid place to put stuff. Um, there we go. Yep. File them where they're meant to go. Uh, now, I need to get you not the Best place for that. I think it will work. Right, now it is minus 46 degrees in here and low pressure. So uh, what I can do, I'll need to get the temperature up. 
If I can open that up, that wasn't enough. Well, shit. <laughs> yeah. Now with our phase change, can I just drop um, oxide in here? It's not going to melt. Okay, didn't think so. That's probably not enough pressure to uh, warm the place up either. Ah, oh, great. Uh, okay. Well then, I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Oop. We'll let a bit of gas out of here. Once it gets above zero, the oxide should melt. And there it goes. Whoop. I can switch that off now. And um, start dropping ice chunks. Now the pressure's going up. It is warming up. It is pressurized. I should be okay to open my helmet now. Uh, get rid of all them. I can have a drink. We have had our first food and drink. That's that problem solved. Now we want to probably finish off our next, uh, next printer there so I can get some more power going so I can solve my power problem which is uh, starting to get yeah a little bit special well I shall put you on facing that way and the other one facing the afternoon and then I can go do some more mining because I need more copper now all right so now I have enough oh well I've got enough iron there to make uh, steel and um, I can make a battery and it's the end of the day so I'll be able to do nothing with it. Good timing. Yep, really planned that one out. It is not hot enough for that so um, let's not worry about doing that then. Now, now the output on that one there. <laughs> I, oh. Right, we've got 25 megapascals in there. Let's say one thing that's with this, uh, with the phase change update, so reduce the size of the pipe. So it's when you suddenly vent that, an emergency vent on the uh, furnace, and whoosh, look at it go, 25 megapascals. Um, yep, that's made a little bit warmer here. It's 85 degrees. That's about it. Um, yeah pipes are very small so it now operates uh, rather slowly but there are still some pipe shenanigans going on here so uh, the length of your pipe does matter uh, so if we chuck in a few more of them and then pop the outlet on there it's now going down a lot quicker why does that happen? I got no idea, but it does. Just uh, just live with it. And we have steel. Ka-ching. Uh, put that into there, and we can we get a battery. We can get a battery. Nice. Screw driver. We're good. Now, that you are hooked up. We hook you up. And, uh... We're good to go. You've probably had your day. You can go away. Right, now, I just ran out of power. Awesome. That'll teach me to leave all them switched on. Pop you in there. And we've got power. That's the power solved. So next up, we want to refill our water bottles. It'll probably be our next uh, 
next thing we got to do. That's going to be the next thing that's going to kill us. Right. So for that we need an ice crusher, ice crusher, uh, a bottle filler, and some liquid pipes. If I had some ice, that might be handy as well. But I don't. Uh, right. So we want to uh, probably set up. Set up our. Oh, I need a gas pipe pipe to vent everything, don't I? Um, oh, okay, that was too many. Set up a garden big enough to um, last us the rest of the game. There we go. That's pretty much all you do need. Air tank low. Uh, put in our bottle filler upper. Put down our ice crusher. We need to weld you. Oops, welding inside. Not good. But we've done it. And uh tables, we're good. Right, now where's my power? Now it is over here. Right, so I'll need to whack a cowl on the back of that and whack some ice in it, and then we'll have water. In the meantime, our oxygen is low, so air tank critical. Fill that up easy enough. Uh, you, empty you out, and there we go. We are still 38 degrees, getting a little toasty in here. Uh, you will need to fill up. You're good. We're still alive. We're doing all right. Uh, so we can now refill our bottles as soon as I go and get some ice. That is good to go. I'll need a cowl on the back of that. And then I need to think about getting some cooling into the room. Right, because overheating is going to be a problem in there pretty soon. So, what do we need to cool down the room? So, we need a, a vent. Because the atmosphere outside here is quite cool. And it is good enough for cooling down the base. Here we go there. Let's bring that into the room and bring power in as well. We don't want to overpressurize the room, so I shall put an exhaust vent on the outside, um, which can go to there. That will be the input vent. Um, I shall probably want some more pipes, so let's grab some more pipes. Alright, so should we should want an exhaust vent, which is just pushing straight outside. Um, we should want you to hook into... Oh, let's put a, probably put up a bit of a ventilation system. We've got the pipes here. Let's do it. Right, ventilation is good. Uh, so if we overpressurize, I can switch that on which will blow gas outside. If it gets too hot, I can just suck in gas from outside and well, cool the place down. So to do that, I shall want, uh, let's see, I put a sensor over there. I can hook up to you, to you, to you. Um, so I want a logic reader, so I can read the temperature from the uh, sensor. I want to compare it using a logic compare. Uh, logic com got the wrong one. Logic compare. Compare. There we go. I can compare that to a memory. You. Uh, and I shall put down a logic writer. Logic writer. Where is it? Here we go. Right. You get out of the way. That's a better one to get out of the way. Now, you shall read, compare. The compare will compare the memory with the logic reader. And you shall write out to the writer which will then write to the vent outside 
to switch it on or off. Ah, um, maybe I'll get some more cables and go get some ice to put on uh, this thing. And then we can have a drink. Or I can have a drink now and then go do that stuff. Yep, yep, off is uh, what I was looking for. Right, now let's get back to looking after this ventilation. Now yeah, we're up to 39 degrees. Awesome. Okay, so we are 41 kilopascals, 39 degrees. Right, now first up, what I'm going to do is I shall grab you, hook the memory up to that one. Now I shall set this one to B. We should write in from the memory, that's the only one attached, don't have any choice, out to the exhaust vent and we shall set the pressure external. Pressure external is the pressure in the room. So if we set that to uh, 75 and switch that on that should now be set to 75. Uh, if I now switch that on, we see the pressure in here is not going down because it is less than 75. It will only intake the air until it gets to 75. Oh, it actually says there on the tool tip now that is very hard, very handy. So the inwards is limited because it is below 75 kilopascals. It will only take in when it's greater than 75, so that will stop our room from overpressuring. Uh, so now I can then also just uh, say to that one, um, uh, da, 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 da. If I set that to uh, 1, I set that to uh, lock, make sure I, oops, no, exhaust vent. Source vent, uh, set that to lock. Right. Switch that on, it has switched the lock to one, so I should now not be able to touch those buttons there and mess with that anymore. So we're safe in here now. Okay, so that has set our exhaust vent nicely. Let's just not touch that anymore. Now we want to set this to the uh, outside vent. Uh, so we shall be writing to the outside vent. We shall be setting writing to on. Uh, so that's you. We set the modes inwards. We shall read in from. Oh, I haven't got it hooked up. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, try that. Now we shall read in from the gas sensor, we shall read the temperature, uh, 311. We shall compare it to the logic memory, which we shall set to uh, 300, uh, we shall set it to 25 degrees, 298 Kelvin. Uh, we shall compare the Logic reader, that's the only one attached to the logic memory, which is the only thing attached, it's our only choice. And we shall say when that is greater than that, which it is, we're going to switch that vent on, which we've already set up here. So we're reading from the logic compare, which is the only thing attached to the outside vent and on. So the outside vent should now switch on and it should start cooling down in here now, which it is. Nice. Uh, where's my atmospherics reader? I think it's outside still. The pressure in here will go up until it reaches 75, in which case then that will start sucking any excess pressure out of here. But we're down to 23 degrees. That has switched off and we're no longer overheating. We uh, now have more CO2 because we just sucked in a heap of gas from outside. Now we do have pollutant in here. Now the pollutant is not an issue. Uh, it's, it's not until it gets to a 
one kilopascal of partial pressure of pollutant in here. Uh, that would mean we have 1% pollutant at 100 kilopascals of pressure. Uh, at the moment, we haven't got 100 kilopascals of pressure and we haven't got even close to 1% of pollutant. Um, even outside, I think it's only 0.6% pollutant. So even if you do put in 100 kilopascals of gas, it's still not enough to cause the uh, plants any problems. Uh, probably the only issue you're going to have Um, what's going on? Ah, yes. Okay. Shut up. All right. I'll fix the pollutant. Shut up. Ah, I hate it when that happens. Um, okay. Let's fix the pollutant problem then. Uh, so I'll need to build a scrubber. And, um, because it's just polluting in here, we can just um, pressurize the gas in here to get rid of it. So we'll use a phase change and we'll create a scrubber that will get rid of the, um, all the pollutants in the room. Uh, so, being a room temperature of 22.6 degrees, we will need our pollutant, uh, pollutant, uh, so uh, let's use Celsius, we shall need 22 degrees, we shall need uh, 3.6 megapascals of pressure in here, so obviously I'm not going to pressurize the room to 3.6 megapascals, because that'll kill me and it'll kill all the plants, so we're just going to have to pressurize it in a pipe and put a liquid drain on the pipe. So uh, let's see how we go. So I'll need a vent and I shall need some valves and a liquid drain. And that's all there is, we have water. And just to show that the you just to prove that you don't actually need the... Oh, potato is thriving. It's quite happy with the pollutant in here. If you not say it too loud, the alarm might come on again. It's quite happy! Nah. Uh, right, so what we want to do now is we want to uh, probably grab something from the middle of the room. Would be handy. Now if I switch you on, how much do I get in there? I am getting 8 megapascals in there. Right! And liquid pollutant. Right, now you see we're actually getting liquid pollutant in the entire room. So in the pipe, 0.02% and in the room, well, same 0.2%. So I just need to put my liquid drain, I can actually put that in anywhere. Uh, I can put that in, make sure it's facing outside, there, so that'll allow to drain all the uh, liquid pollutant out of the pipe network, uh, so we should see, well, that was very slow, uh, well it's only got a tiny, <laughs> a tiny, tiny little bit of uh, gas in the uh, liquid, uh, liquid in there. Uh, so it's not going down in a big hurry, like 0.19 millimoles. Uh, so it's going to take a while for that to go down. So we might just have to chuck something a bit bigger on that. Uh, right, so we can maybe stick a second one of them on there and double it up. Uh, so if we increase the pressure in there, we can uh, see if we go again. So all right, let's uh, rearrange shit again. Right, second vent in. Now if I switch it on, um, where are we? Ah, oh, where'd it go? Uh, my... Right, now we've definitely got more in there. Okay, we can see that the percentage is now going up and down. Okay, it's going down. 
right? You see it definitely going down. It's probably going up when it sucks in more gas from over here. Uh, we can see a C. It is now going down. So that is our scrubber just by using the the phase change in the room. We can do it. Now by extending that, making that a larger length of pipe in there, we can actually make it work, work a bit better. Uh, so let's grab, well, I'll actually grab a few more liquid drains too. That might help as well. So I'll go print off a few more of them, I'll rearrange a few things and see how we go. Okay, so I'll put a longer length of pipe in here. Uh, so, oops, this, well, it's only five megapascals now. What the hell? That's 2.8. That's not enough to cause condensation. Oh, there's some pipe shenanigans going on here. Uh, that's 5.2. If I... Now it's 6.8. That's 10.9. Shenanigans. I call shenanigans on this one. Okay, some shenanigans going on here. Uh, it looks like if you've only got, you've got two valves and only one pipe in between them, uh, that seems to get you a lot more pressure. Uh, so I'm going to put my... Uh, Valves on there. That's where we've got the most liquid in there. And we can see that is actually dropping now a lot quicker. Now I can once again we've still got the same liquid in the whole room. Let's say 0.03 mole to uh well 0.012 well I do have the drain on that one there. Uh, but I can still put the drains on anywhere, so we will just put them on, well, anywhere. I can put one on there, and I can put one on there. So, now, yeah, it's quite quickly dropping now. So this is just the, uh, the phase change being used to scrub out that pollutant. It's just using the pressure in this one length of pipe here. Of course, it's liquefy, and then liquefy, liquefied uh, pollutant goes around the rest of the base, and we've got all these little release valves on our ventilation system just to kick it all out. Now, of course, we are bringing in more every time our cooling vent switches on, so you're not going to get rid of it completely, but the plants are quite happy in here. As we're sucking in more gas from outside, our CO2 is increasing, our oxygen is decreasing, so eventually this will become unbreathable for us. So I need to be able to find a way to get uh, a source of breathing gas and a source of CO2 for the plants. Let's see how we go. Right, yo, so we shall need to put down our uh, where we put that? Uh, you should put that just here. That'll be good enough. Uh, you welder. Right, so you're done. I shall need put in you, you, you. Let's put on, we'll grab a bit of extra volume by putting on one of those doodads because the pipes don't contain a lot of, uh, a lot of volume anymore so uh, now and I just need my pipe thingy on us these re tank refillers uh, they're part of the pipe utilities now it took me a while to find them after the update there are they done? where have they gone to uh, there they are now all we got to do on this one switcher on uh, now we've got a, a dial there so all we're going to do is chuck in our oxide uh, uh, just careful how much we put in there. Ah, I can put the whole lot of that in there, not a problem. Now we'll notice on this one it is 10% um, nitrogen and 90% uh, oxygen. So we can refill our tank from that. Yes, yes, yes. 
Yeah, I know. It's It's got nitrogen in it. Shut up. Okay, right. You can put that refill tank there if, if first you put a nitrogen filter in your suit. Uh, otherwise your suit will just fill up with nitrogen, which you can't breathe, and if you have nothing to filter it out of your suit, um, you die. Uh, oh, look, and just as so happens that I need a new one of them. Um, yeah. Okay, that solved that problem. So now I can refill my tank, Air tank critical. with this, and uh, even though it's got nitrogen in it, I'm fine because I've got a nitrogen filter in my suit, and that is how I can easily refill my oxygen. No filtration required, nothing. Well, I suppose the next thing you might want to think about is actually repressurizing your welder as well. Okay then. Now, if you on, I can just chuck my volatiles into there. So we now have, if I finish off my pipe network, now we should have our oxygen, or a bit dirty oxygen, in there. And I have my volatiles, which are just volatiles, into there. And we shall mix it into fuel here. Now, if we find that we have, I mean, it is 90% is oxygen versus 100% volatiles. We normally have a, well, we've got to have a two to one mix of hunger, caution. Of uh, that, so you are input two. So input two would normally be a thirty-three percent. Well, let's set that down to a little bit higher. Well, let's set the thirty-six percent. We should have it well ten percent higher, because uh, that is only ninety percent pure. And if I mix, we should have. Uh, there we go, 32 to 64, so that's a, a 3 to 1, or a um, 2 to 1 ratio there. It's got nitrogen in it, so it'll be dirty gas, um, but it's, it's good enough. I'm not going to clean it up. Damn, those things are annoying. <sighs> that's good enough. That's good enough to run your welder. Uh, it'd be good enough to uh, actually pump some of that into our furnace as well. So I guess now, as we want to actually do that sort of thing, uh, just watch your pressure when filled it, filling up your your welded welding tank, because uh, that's a uh, it can be explodey time if you get it wrong. Uh, right now, I want to uh, pump that into the furnace to heat up the furnace, so I can hook up a volume pump to that same gas fuel. And pump it into here. I could also pump in a cold input too, I guess, if I wanted, and um, have it cool down. So let's do that. Right, now I can direct fuel into here, or I can suck in cold air from here. I can outlet the pressure from here. Let's get some upgrading done. There's some lead. We have electrum. And up green light, we're good. Heavy mining drill, hell yes. Arc welder, hell yes. Mining belt, tool belt, mining backpack. All very good upgrades. Okay, power upgrades. And now that I've been flying around, I now need to refill my jetpack. Alright, a simple way to refill your jetpack is you don't need to do it with nitrogen. You can do it with pretty much anything. So um so that is at that pressure. Now I can just uh fill it up with jetpack. anything. Cool. I've actually filled it up with oxygen now. So uh that'll be fine to fly around with. As long as you're not flying around a Vulcan where it's hot hot um, hydrogen that you're blasting oxygen into, you'll be fine. 
Um, but here, yeah, I can refill it with my um, with with my air tank refiller, not a problem. Ah, oh, it's once again, I'm just getting crushing ice for it, though. There's a pretty much unlimited supply of it, not a problem. And there we have it. We have a fully, uh, well, partially automated base where I can just plant all my plants. It's temperature controlled. It is, uh, make sure it has uh, enough carbon dioxide in there for the plants. Uh, my plants will be quite happy. Uh, there's a scrubber in there. We're all good to go. So now all we have to do is build a bit of a breathing atmosphere. Once again, we just drop some... Um, a bit of oxide in there every now and then to make sure the breathing gases are still okay for, for breathing in there. And that's about all we need. That is our basic starter base. Uh, so that's probably where we'll end it for today. But we do have a still bit, a bit more to go. We want to make sure that we can have a breathable base in there. And uh, we will automate it in the next one. So don't look at that tank over there because I haven't built it yet. Uh, I'm not doing this from the future. Uh, alrighty, but that's about all for today. So till next time, happy building. See ya.